Hello everyone, it's Angie, coming on to do day nine of my 31 days of Christmas journal makes. And I was looking through my papers yesterday, trying to pull out some pages that I wanted to um, create my Christmas journal with once I get this process done. And I was cutting down some 12 by 12 pages and I had a few of these things left over, these little strips. And I was just trying to come up with an idea of what I could use these for. They were all familiar with the belly bands, vertical and horizontal belly bands, but it got me to thinking about that. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys, if you guys haven't seen this process before, I don't know, this is the first time um, myself doing it, but just basically making belly bands with mini, mini tuck spots, pockets inside of them, okay? So I started with this piece here and I cut it down to be a belly band going across your page like so. Um, the horizontal ones and let me see I got my page here so I just made it at five and a half inches just you know because basically normally our pages are five and a half by um, eight and a half I'm sorry so I just did it cut it down to five and a half so you can do it any size you want but basically you just make yourself a belly band and First of all, you gotta think about how wide you want your belly band. And my standard size is usually about an inch and a half, okay? So all you do is cut your page down to whether you want it vertical or horizontal. So basically five and a half by, or if you're going this way, you wanna make the length, your eight and a half inch length. And then the width, um, and you wanna double the width. So if you want it, um, your belly band to be an inch and a half, you're gonna need at least three pieces, three inches width wise, okay? Then all I did was um, give myself a half inch score line and then uh, a two inch score line because I want it to be an inch and a half. Fold one over, fold one over, and there you go. And then put yourself a little thumb pull because you want it to be able to be seen that something goes in there. So I purposely left, if you can see that, let me just ink this up so it'll be a little bit more visible for you. Um, we'll just use this one. Um, you could, you could go all the way flush from edge to the edge of the, um, paper if you wanted to, but I think it would be a little bit harder to see unless you ink it up, which would definitely help. Okay. And then the thumb pull would be an additional, um, visible sign, but see like that. So then you can actually say, oh, that's a tuck spot. Something goes in there. And basically that's all you do. And then just glue those two corners down. Well, you're gonna glue this all the way down and all that's doing is reinforcing that page because something is gonna be going, getting pulled in and out of there. And this is pretty sturdy paper, but you still want to have some type of reinforcement there. Okay, and then you're just gonna glue down the edges, ink it up and just do some decorating, just some minimal decorating. And then you'll put it down on your page just, oh, that page is all messy. You're gonna put it your page just like that, okay? And then um, you've got your little, your little ephemera pieces and you'll just tuck those right in like so. And then this will go down on your page like that. Then you will have room for your large tag or journal card behind to go in like so. So simple, but so cute. And then just how you decorate is totally up to you. So that's our horizontal one. So let's make a vertical one. Um, can't use these because these are directional um, papers. So we'll use one of these. Okay, and I'm just gonna bring my scoreboard in. And again, all you wanna do is figure out how the width that you want your belly band to be. And I'm gonna again stick to my one and a half inch. So I just give myself a half inch fold to fold that down. Okay, and then measure my inch and a half. So that's inch, inch and a half. And these just happen to be, I think, the right size. Yeah, they are. Okay, so then we're going to make a vertical one. So we need it to be eight and a half inches. come to eight and a half or maybe even a eighth of an inch shy you know just depending on how if you want it to go right up to the edge of your pages 
or you want to give yourself a little bit of space. Totally up to you. Okay, and that's really all there is to it, right there. Okay, and then we're going to fold our lines, fold down on our creases, score lines that we made. Okay, and see by doing this, I want to show you, this is where, it's kind of hard to see because the, the pocket line goes right up to the edge of the paper. Okay, so that's why it's important to put a thumb pull as well as maybe doing some inking or bring the score line down just by like an eighth of an inch or less, just so you can kind of see, oh, that's a little tuck spot right there. Okay, so for that, what I did was brought in, where is my, here we go, my L, L, uh, envelope punch board, and I just found the middle, so that's eight and a half, so four and a quarter is the middle, and I just did a little notch right there. Okay, now the neat thing is, Oh, you know what I just thought about? Let's start that over. I just had an uh I just had a better idea. I'm gonna get the other piece of paper. Real quick, we're gonna make this fast. We're gonna do the same process. Okay. I just had a thought. We're gonna do our half inch score line. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one and a half. And I'm going to cut it down to eight and a half. Okay. Now, since we have a longer belly band to work with, this one's kind of short. So we just have one little tuck spot. Why don't we make a double tuck spot? Okay, so this one we can go ahead and I'll just do it right up to the line, but we're going to, again, do our little thumb notch. And that's four and a quarter. Oh, no. This is where I messed up. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to find our middle point. We're going to, before we close it up, okay, eight and a half. So four and a quarter is the middle. One, two, three, four and a quarter. So that's the middle right there, okay? So we're just gonna do a rough right there. And then we're gonna glue it down, okay? Let's get this edge folded, glued down first, okay? Then we're gonna glue it right down the middle and we're gonna have a double pocket. Thought that would be cute, huh? But before we close that up, we wanna find the middle of each pocket so we can do our thumb notch on that as well. So we're gonna put our thumb notch on this one. So one, two, three, four and a quarter, one, two. So about two and an eighth, so that's it right there. Two and an eighth right about there. So let's go ahead and do our notches first. And it doesn't have to be exact, just rough, close to it. There we go. That might be cute. Now we're going to glue down the outer edges as well as the middle, and we're going to have a double pocket. Double pocket belly band. Okay. Now we're going to go right down there and there. Try not to squish the glue too much and push it toward the outer edges. And there we go. How cute is that? Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. I was just thinking again, we could, um, if I would have thought about this sooner even, we have a one and a half inch width belly band so the paper is total of three inches. We could give ourselves an extra half an inch. So go to three and a half inches. And on each end, do the little fold over so then we can still see decorative paper on each end. And do one tuck spot on this side, reverse it, and put the other tuck spot on this side, if I'm explaining that. Maybe we'll go ahead and use 
Okay, anyway, there's our double pocket right there. Hold on just a second. So it would go on our page like so, and we'd glue it down here and here, but then we have a double pocket tuck spot right there. Put a journal card and put another one right there, and then we have room for our tags, journal cards behind as well. Okay, like so. Isn't that cute? I like that. And then you just decorate it, put some lace, um, whatever you want to do on that. And that holds your little ephemera journal spots in place like so. Okay, so let's see if we can come up. See, I'm, my, my, brain is, my brain is ticking, guys. We're going to try one more. So that's our first one with a one pocket. This is our second one with a double pocket on one side. And we can do it either way. It can go either way. You know, depending on how you decide decide you want your layout to be on that particular page. Okay, but what if we want to put a pocket on this one and a pocket going this way? Okay, um, and like I said, these are directional, but we're just going to go ahead and use one of these. And again, let me go ahead and open this up. So we're going to do, let me get that glue off my finger first. Okay, and it's okay if the paper's not going the right way because we're going to do a little decorating on them anyway, so it's not a big, big deal. It's not a break or make or break type situation. I'll turn it around, and I'm going to do, I think, wait, hold on. No, that's not what I want to do, is it? Because, see, i got to think about this for a moment. Because if this page, if this one goes down, okay, well, what I think we're going to have to do on that aspect, the only thing I can think of at the moment, one, two and a half, so that one will go there, and then the half inch. But on this last half inch, I think what I'm, the only thing I can think of is we'll have to cut that off. Unless you guys can think of a different way to do it. Because that's what I'm coming up with at the moment. And let's, let's just make this five and a half. Okay. We'll just do one. Okay, so the way we would do that is dun, dun, dun. we would glue this flap down. Is that an inch? And, see, I did two and a half inches. See, I'm kind of off on my measuring. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to get this for you guys. Hold on, guys. Okay, so we want a one and a half inch belly band. One and a half. Okay. Okay, so what we would have to do, so I'm just trying to think. And we would actually have to cut this, and we'd have to use two separate pieces, I think. And I'm just cutting a sliver off just to separate this into two pieces. Okay. So then we've got that okay so that would go down like so but then when we did our thumb pulls the white would show on the background and that's what I'm trying to avoid so we would actually have to bring in another piece of paper to cover that up I think that's the only way I can think to do that have it in two different pieces which isn't a big it's just an extra step not a real big deal and I said I was going to do this on a long 
horizontal belly band so we'd have more um, space for our tuck spots. Glue dried on me that fast. But I think you guys will get the concept if this is a something you want to try. I think it would be really cute. But I'm just trying to avoid having that white space behind the thumb folds that we make. Okay, so if we do that. And then we put this. And again, what we would do, we clean that up where it kind of have a rough edge. So then again, we would find our middle point. Okay. So that's our middle point right there. And I'm just gonna lightly I'll erase that. Okay, so then we wanna find the middle point of that because that is dun dun two and three fourths, so that's about almost one and a half. So we're gonna put a little notch right there and a little notch right about there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to, where's my notches? I can't see them. Okay, right there and right there. Oh, I'm gonna do it this way though. See, I'm all turned around guys, I'm sorry. Let's see, where's my notch again? Right there. Okay. Right there. Okay. If I can get it right, I think we'll have a cute, cute ephemera piece for our journals. It just doesn't take me a second. My brain wheels are turning. Okay, so then we're going to lay this one down. Okay. And then we're going to ink this one up. this on top and we are going to glue again at each end and in the middle so we need to find our middle point right about there we're gonna run a bead of glue right there okay so right there right there and right there and I think this would be cuter on the eight and a half inch length belly band, but I'm moving too quickly here. I'm not thinking as I'm going, or I'm think, or I'm going faster than I'm thinking, or vice versa. But I think you guys will get the concept. Okay, so there we go. Now where's my little cards? Pull those back out. Here's one, and here's one. Now we gotta imagine that it's one of these I just cut it short, but then you would have a little tuck spot here and a little tuck spot there to go on your page. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? Then you have, again, it's a belly band, so you'll be able to tuck something else behind it like so. Okay, it doesn't work with this particular one going this way because I think that might tend to want to fall out. Oops, and I didn't glue that all the way down, did I? But that was just a spur of the moment thought to make opposite tuck spots on each side. Okay. So we've got this one. It would go this way and it'll give you a tuck spot there. Then we've got this one, double tuck spot on the same side, okay, as well as a belly band. So you can put a notepad, a little notebook, or another journal card, a couple tags behind, or you can go the long way. Again, do it this way, glue it in half, but put your thumb notch one on one side and one on the other. I just did this one short, so I apologize for that. Then you would have a tuck spot going this direction 
in a tuck spot going this direction. I think that's a cute idea. I think that's really cute. Really cute idea. Then you can just decorate it however you see fit. Um, let's see if we have time. Do we have time to decorate this one? I have some lace and some trim here. It's kind of wide. Let's see what I've got here. I need to press this ribbon. It's kind of crinkled up. Well, that red pops nicely against that plaid, doesn't it? Do something like that. Some green here. Just run a piece of lace or something down the middle. Um, put a couple little embellishments. I don't know. These little trees here. Okay. And also, these would look really cute. You know, just kind of peeking out of your, your tuck spots. Look at that. You know, depending on what paper you chose, I think that would look really, really cute. Just have some little cuties just kind of peeking out. You know, like that. And then um, you have your tag or your journal card behind. How cute is that? Okay. Well, I hope I wasn't too much all over the place, guys. So today's video is belly band with either single, double, or opposite side double tuck spots. Okay. So again... Just decide what width you want your belly band to be, and you need to double plus maybe a half an inch um, if you want the dual sides on each side because you don't want the white to show unless you're going to do a lot of inking. But you don't want it to be uh, probably patterns uh, design on one side and then just white on the other side. I would think you wanted to have a little bit of a balance. Um, so this is a one and a half inch belly band using a three inch width piece of paper, scored at a half inch, scored at uh, two inches, fold it over, put yourself a thumb notch, put yourself some ink on it, and decorate. And then just make your little, your little ephemera pieces to go in there, however you want to do that. Okay? But I think it's a cute idea. So I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Put it in your journals. Okay? And if I can be any help, if I wasn't clear enough on that, I'd Sorry, I was kind of a little bit all over the place, but I, my brain started, my wheel started turning there. So you got three different styles that you can do, okay? One pocket, two pockets on the same side, depending on whichever way you want to flip it, from the left or to the right, or tuck spots on opposite sides, and then you would just glue on the opposite sides and one down the middle to hold your ephemera pieces in place, okay? So there you go, one, and there you go with the second one. Very cute. Have some fun with your belly bands, guys. Thank you so very much for your time. If I can answer any questions, if I wasn't clear, please let me know in the comments below, and I will respond, okay? Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.